So I have become more selective about it in terms of providing, you know, more information regarding like how do we detox through genetics and looking at, um, we mentioned MDHFR, but there's a whole host of things we look at. And then adding for context, their gut health and their, your toxic burden triggers in their diet. And for a moment on toxic burden, you know, like a really underappreciated problem is mold toxicity. I, I, I am like almost taken aback by how many, you know, times I see mycotoxins at extremely high levels and, um, it's pretty striking how how difficult this group has detoxing that and their their level of exposure seems uh uh it's it's disproportionately high but you're saying that the mold isn't coming from the breast implants because that's more bacterial but in general the women that have the implants that seem to have BII are having some kind of mold exposure that's really hard for on your myco toxin test and you're seeing high L right. Right. So, so people ask me all the time is like, is it mold coming from the implants? I'm like, no, right. I didn't study. I want that to be clear. That is not where it comes from. So this is like our bathroom, our shower, our uh fruit, our vegetables, our grains, or or our coffee has mold. Wine has okra toxin. And so Butter, um, all the nuts, blah blah blah. 